hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to change the rgb color of a video how to adjust the hsl of a video like the hue saturation as well as the lightness and also how to do contrast change for a video uh, there is one more thing which i will show you like this white to green LUT, but i don't really know what does this mean and i don't see any effect of that on my video but anyways so let's get started so first i will show you rgb adjustment for a particular video now we will be doing this for native android application obviously and also we will be making use of media 3 transformer library which is from exo player itself so we don't have to worry about anything so here is a video original video playing inside exo player i'll just stop it for now and this video is coming from a network url so this is not a local video or i have not shipped this video inside my project uh, so now if i click on this convert video it will start to do the conversion but also keep a track on this locket because it also shows us the progress of how much the video has been converted also the conversion takes place on a background thread that is handled internally by uh, media 3 transformer so we don't have to worry anything about it so i'll just click on convert first it will ask me for a file permission and again the conversion does not require any file permission the reason why it is asking me for storage permission is because i am saving the file to external storage once the conversion takes place that's why because this would be helpful to lot other people so here you can see i'll just toggle this checkbox i'll go back to my app and here you can see the conversion has started taking place as it is displaying the progress bar i am displaying an indeterminate circular progress bar but if you want you can display linear progress bar as well and here you can see the progress bar being displayed now the video is ready so here if i play the original video you can see that there is a difference so this is part of rgb adjustment next i will show you hsl adjustment now you might be confused like why the why there is a 2 and why there is 66 so the 66 72 78 is the progress state and the 2 which is you see it can be 2 1 or 0 so these are the progress state and the 72 78 is how much progress has taken place so i'll just run this now i will run the hsl adjustment so just wanted to show you that output as well so i'll go back to locket again i'll click on convert So it has started the conversion hopefully it should get completed soon so here you can see the hsl adjustment is also done so this is how the video look like you can change the value to whatever you feel like next i want to show it for contrast as well so i'll quickly run this I'll click on convert again and here you can see I'm displaying the progress bar uh, I will tell you what this 210 is exactly when I show you the code uh, but just have a little bit of patience so here you can see now I have changed the contrast so this is how the uh, converted video looks like now just to show you I will also show you this uh, map white to green LUT. i don't know exactly what does this even mean and what does this do but i'll just show you guys the output in case if you know what exactly this does this do do let me know in the comments but i thought maybe it might be helpful for someone uh, that's why i'm doing this now i cl click on convert So hopefully this should be pretty quick and all the converted videos are stored in external storage you don't have to worry about it as soon as the transformation done so here you can see the in the output i don't see any uh, difference in the output that's why i was little confused anyways so yeah next i have also created second activity so inside second activity i am picking video from video picker the effects remains the same 
but just in case if anyone wanted to pick video from a video picker i have created that as well so i'll quickly make my second activity as main activity i'll comment this out from my main activity and inside second activity i'm just doing hsl adjustment but you can do the same thing rgb uh, white to green alert and as well as change the contrast now uh, the time it takes for transformation depends on how big your video is so now i will pick a 10 minute long video so in that uh, you can see that it does take a little bit of time even though the operation is happening on the background thread so i'll just remove this so here you can see i have a pick video button i'll click on it and here you can see all the videos which have been converted have been saved now i will pick this the first the very last video which is 10 minute long video i'll select that and now i will click on convert so it is playing the original video okay so this will take a little bit of time so in the meantime i will just explain you guys the code we'll come back to this uh, later on once the output is ready so first uh, war let's create a native android project you if you want you can use jetpack compose as well i'm using the old xml layout uh, then inside gradle scripts what i have done is uh, i have gone to build.gradle.kts and i have added all this dependency exo player ui HL, hls transformer effect and common and we have to reference this inside libs.versions.toml as well so i have added uh, the current version of media 3 exo player and here you can see i have added all the dependencies of common effect exo player exo player H hsl uh, hls sorry transformer as well as ui then you just have to click on sync now then inside android manifest i have added few permissions so this internet permission is for playing video from so in the first output i showed you right i was playing the video from a network url so for that i have this permission this read write external storage is for older android devices but in newer android devices we have to use this manage external storage permission so this is done next coming back to our first activity here i have taken one player view so this is for displaying the original video then i have taken another player view this is for displaying the transformed video i have taken one button uh, this is for uh, like clicking on convert which will start the transformation and one progress bar to show to the user that okay something is happening now coming to our main activity firstly we are extending our transformer dot listener so we'll have to override two methods on completed and on error i'll show back i'll show that method in a bit but here i have defined two exo player two player view one progress bar one file name variable playback position is zero so that it starts from where the very start and play when ready is true here is our transformer here i have defined one file and the video url so this is from where uh, the video will be played then i have defined one handler and progress holder so this will help us to track the current progress and for older android version i am using this read and write external storage permission so this is how i am requesting for multiple permissions if permission is not granted i am displaying a toast message otherwise i am calling setup transformer and here this is the new way for so first i am checking if manage external storage permission has been given or not again this is for storing file inside external storage and if it is given then i am calling setup transformer so here i am just calling request manage external storage permission and if uh, so here basically we are uh, launching the settings app where the user has to toggle that particular checkbox and if not then i'm just uh, if it is older android version uh, we are requesting for read write external storage and this is a helper method to check whether the external storage permission has been given or not uh, next i have initialized our progress bar input player as well as output player and on button click we are just calling this request transformer permission so first it will request for permission and if permission is given then we are calling setup transformer this is the code for initializing our input player this is the code for initializing our output player this is the code for releasing our player and inside on start we are initializing our input player inside on stop we are releasing our player on resume we are receiving our player and on pause we are pausing our player here you can also add one more check that if the second player is also initialized the output player then uh, you can pause that if 
it has some video playing inside it and inside on destroy we are releasing our player so here you, as you can see this gets called on button click if all permission has been given then we call setup transformer next if inside setup transformer if some video is already playing inside output player we make it as null and release it as well as stop it and here we just call transform video method now inside transform video we are first displaying our progress bar then we have created an array list of effect uh, now i really don't understand all this but this this is for that uh, mapping white to green LUT. if you don't need this you can just comment it out next to uh, do rgb adjustment for a particular color here you can add the red scale green scale and blue scale so here you can see the range is from so okay i think yeah it is needs to be both negative and the default value is one so i think it is from zero to one same for green scale as well so i'll come back to my activity so here you can change the gray scale uh, red rgb color to whatever you want if you want to change the rgb color next is hsl adjustment if you want to do this you can add hue saturation and lightness and if you go to the documentation it tells you from what to what it is applicable so 0 to 360 degrees and adjust saturation is from what minus 100 to 100 so uh, look in the yeah you can just figure it this like set the set the values according to your needs and this is for contrast so if you want here you can say see it is from minus one to one so yeah this is how you can set contrast then uh, if you want you can also apply all these effects simultaneously if that's if that's the use case for you then here we are just initializing our transformer as well as adding the listener to our transformer dot listener okay so the output is ready i'll just show you the output so at the top is the original video at the bottom is the uh, transformed video i think we changed the rgb color right so yeah that that's the output i'll just stop it next here we are initializing our input media item passing our video url and here we are passing our edited item so we are passing the effect whatever has been added to our list then we create an external file and trans start our transformer here we are uh, tracking the progress of our progress state so if you remember uh, we were getting this 0 and 2 right so this 0 and 2 0 1 and 2 refers to this progress state if, if it is 0 then it is progress state not started if it is 1 then progress state waiting for availability and 2 progress state available then this is how i am tracking it and to check the actual progress you can just use progress holder dot progress then to create an external file i have we have this code okay and to save file to external storage this is the code now this code will be only work on hdk level 29 and above so i am not really sure how to save it to external storage for below 29 but i do have a video on how to save it to downloads directory so if you want you can refer that video this will store it inside your dcim folder which is the right practice for saving videos so and even i have copy pasted this from uh, online okay so you can just stop the video if you want and copy paste this code so here are these two uh, methods which are being overridden because we are extending transformer dot listener which i talked about earlier so on completed means everything is successful so we are displaying our output player initializing it saving file to external storage hiding our progress bar and on error we are hiding both output player as well as progress bar and displaying a toast message so that's it for the main activity for second activity the code is exactly the same so i won't explain in much detail so i have just taken a one button for picking video this is for input player same code output player button to convert and one for progress bar and for second activity the only change is how to pick video from file explorer so only i will show you that rest everything is same so as you can see everything is same the only thing is we don't have the video url and we can get the video video url only when we call this launch with new video picker and here you can see we are calling this video only so it will only shows video and once the user picks a video we come over here we assign it to our video url 
and then we initialize our input player as well as on resume rest everything is same we are request for permission now the permission is not for picking video uh, we don't require any permission for that this is only for saving the transformed video to external storage now this uh, same thing same so i won't explain you this is exactly the same nothing is different so in case if you are interested you can just pause the video copy paste the code if you want to so this is for map white to green lut hsl adjustment rgb adjustment contrast okay and here we are initializing transformer tracking progress creating external file saving file to external storage and here it is on completed and here it is on error so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye